Hi, good evening, good afternoon. Welcome to the Deerfield uh, Board of Health uh, and Select Board meeting of January 21st, 2020. Uh, we're meeting at 4.30 p.m. in the Deerfield Municipal Offices, the main meeting room, 8 Conway Street, South Deerfield. We just have uh, one item agenda today, which is kind of picking up from our last meeting where we were discussing ZBA appointments and um, we wanted to discuss those. Um, I had taken a few days to just talk with the members of the ZBA. I didn't reach everybody, but I, I did speak to a few members of the ZBA to just um, get their feelings and discuss their needs, you know, what they need, what they need for support from our town and our office. So um, last week we had a um, an application or request an interest from David Potter. Um, it says, greetings, I'm interested in serving as a volunteer member on the Town Zoning Board of Appeals. Um, he has a long record of public service and would like to take the opportunity to serve the town in this capacity. So um, I had reviewed his um, application and we also need to, um, or my, I guess my recommendation, that I'll make a motion, but would be to move um, uh, Bob Decker, who has been an alternate for, for quite a long time and um, expressed an interest that he would like to serve as a full member and I would, would probably recommend him, I would like to recommend him to come on as a full member and then appoint David Potter as an alternate. Um, all the alternates need to come to every meeting because in case somebody's not there, they then become um, the person who hears that whole hearing, whatever is before them. Um, would run along straight on through. Um, it wouldn't be just filling in for a meeting, you fill in for that whole hearing, uh, however many nights that runs. So um, they're just as important as a full member. So um, does anybody have any other, anything else they want to add or do you want me to make that motion or? Um, it's fine. So yeah. I, I, would, I would make. Are, are, we, are we going to be um, filling to uh, fill out the term of one of the members that expired or is this going to be a three year or? Well, uh, that's a I believe Bob's is to fill fill in till um, July 1st. I thought last time we'd given you the, the point. Yeah, the I have. Well, this so might be we should home. make sure that they're staggered appropriately. So you mm -hmm. have yeah, the, uh, the two that we signed were uh, June 30th. This is the fill in the right. right. community's right. place. So. Correct. He was up in 2020, right? Right. Mm -hmm. so, so would you fill Bob's, out the full member there and then, and then they would discuss would how they... Till and I think their first order of business when they meet, I think on the 23rd, would be to constitute their board, pick a chair, right. and figure out how they want to... Because they have to, to have a new chair. ...move forward. So um, so I would make a recommendation to move uh, Robert Decker III from alternate to full member to fill out Richard Moody's term, which expires 2020. Um, and then they can decide, you know, who wants to be chair and how long. And then, um, so I'll do that motion first. So to move move Bob Decker to a full member. I'll second that. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 And then uh, my second motion would be to to appoint David Potter, uh, Zoning Board of Appeals alternate. And I second that. Begin a term of January. Well, January twenty first today. Um, or as soon as he signs in, I guess it'll be tomorrow. He'd have to get sworn in, and ending June thirtieth, twenty twenty-three. Diana, because would you make sure um, that you let him know he has to come in and get sworn in? Yes. Mm -hmm. Before the and Bob CBA. as well, right? Would yeah. he also need to be sworn well, in for uh, a full member? No, I don't. No, think there's he's any already. Different. There's no distinction there between okay. the two. Okay. Just want to make sure that we're that covered. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Yeah, it's it's important that he comes in. Dave. Yeah. David, he, we yep. told him last time, but we'll remind him. Yeah. Okay. So, any further discussions on that appointment for David Potter? No. Any, for, uh, let's see, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. So, um, that would complete the main reason for the meeting tonight. Um, we just wanted to talk about a couple of things coming up. We have um, a special town meeting that's going to happen on January 29th. At 5 p.m., we will have a um, public presentation of the complete streets prioritization plan. Ty and Bond will be here and we'll be discussing what they came up with, what are the, you know, the priorities, and then, you know, take public input on all of that. Mm -hmm. And then hopefully come up with a, 
uh, plan moving forward on, and getting some of this work done and applying for grants. Um, also, the special town meeting that night um, will be to, uh, ho hopefully the town will support us in, in the grant um, that we hope to get. Uh, very, very close at hoping to get. Um, this would be uh, allowing us to have the funding available if, should we win the grant for the Kelher Drive culvert and a couple other um, it's that it's critical that people come, it is and critical. the reason why is because we need to sign the contract on January thirty first, and, and so it's seventy five percent paid by the state. So um, yes, it's a big chunk of money. One hundred ninety six thousand dollars is a lot, but so is um, seventy five percent more. <laughs> seventy five percent more is a whole lot more money, and that that really needs to happen. So it, and we've been able to use the design. The first grant, first uh, one of the rounds for the grant uh, for the design work, which is usually imperative in in grant uh, applications, but this one allows that. So please come out and support. This that. is for the implementation of um, Kelleher Drive culvert, which we hope will last through the winter. So it's really actually critical. Mm -hmm. And then our um, so those are what we have. Our we're leaving on Thursday to do uh, Friday and Saturday in Boston at the the uh, Massachusetts Municipal Association's 41st annual meeting. And um, we, you know, we'll be going to a lot of seminars, which will help get us discounts in our insurance for the town and um, just try to learn all the new things and bring it back, bring, bring information back to the, to the town and make good connections out there. So um, we'll be out there Thursday, uh, Thursday, Thursday, Thursday night, Friday, Saturday, we'll be back and then um, our next, so we have the 29th and then February 12th, February 26th is our regular board meetings. Um, yes, I, I didn't, we neglected to have the, <clears throat> excuse me, the MMA at the bottom of the meetings, but that it, we did post that. So okay, the MMA good. is posted Thank just you. to be assured. Great. Thank you. Um, any other, I know we don't have anything else on the agenda, but oh, we, uh, well, um, February 12th is um, um, we were going to have the hazardous mitigation public hearing to review the, our, our plan and hopefully get it in by the end of the month, uh, the end of February, so that we will be um, eligible for hazardous mitigation grants. This would be for the federal matches to state matches, so this is really critical. Um, and then also February 29th, is our climate change forum. Please call in to um, the selectman's office and uh, have Pat sign you in or come in and sign in uh, to the, um, so you, we know we have a running total for f lunch. I've been amazed at how much climate change has really come in the forefront and how strongly we need to pay attention if you just look at what's going on in Australia right now more than a million terrible. species yeah, I know. Uh, wiped out. Um, you know, that can happen at any time, but it's never happened in this kind of situation. We've got California fires, we've got all kinds of things going on, but um, I came across a really good book on climate change the other day that had, yesterday, that had a lot of different um, solutions that were all backed up by data, kind of how much carbon that you can um, sequester and forego going into the environment. So it'll be a really interesting topic. And I'm you know, anxious to kind of pull together ideas between now and then. I, I want to mention too, because it's really important about the special town meeting that that's also being funded through this grant, that's climate resiliency workshop and all of that work that you're doing around right. climate resiliency, yep. which is really mm -hmm. critical. Um, I had heard from our representative at MVP, um, our uh, the gentleman that's been working with us, the regional, uh, person Andrew that oh. our application was funded and was very competitive because um, it's not only doing the you know the the actual uh, taking the actions replacing the culverts but it's also looking toward a long range um, you know plan toward climate resiliency mm -hmm. and it's incorporating the students and it's really right. bringing in the, the the younger folks to um, be a part of that plan so well they're inheriting it and Maybe that's why we we need to do something and um, and it and it's cost it costs money it costs money to um, be resilient but mm -hmm. if you don't do anything it's going to cost more money more. and um, so we're trying to be thoughtful and do as much as possible um, to mitigate 
uh, impacts and to be, make sure that we continue, to, this continues to be a desirable place to live. Mm -hmm. I think geographically, we are located in an area that will, you know, have water. Yes, we're gonna have hot, warmer climates, et cetera, et cetera, but I think we have the ability to adapt mm -hmm. and we just need to be thoughtful and move forward and try to adapt as best as possible. So that's part of this process, and um, the only way we can do it is to engage um, at the whole community, mm -hmm. including I, younger people. I even think of like, you know, when we take on a building project or something like that, looking at geothermal, you know, all, there's a lot of just different technology mm -hmm. that's come along and a long ways to make, make, make our buildings and what we do in our footprint here running a town. And, you know, and we should, and we really, you know, that. There's no question that trying to go net zero is is a more expensive way to build, but if you think about it in the long run, if you don't have energy bills or minimal energy bills, then you really, you know, it, it will make it worthwhile. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Do some other things. Do uh, just making sure if there's anything else I could do. was a letter on the, just notified that um, this is the Franklin County Regional Housing and Redevelopment Authority that we, there's a grant that, uh, program that we have, you know, maybe 11 families that have taken, taken part of, uh, of the program, which is, you know, helping, helping families and our seniors kind of rehabilitate their home or, you know, ramp access or different things like that. So we get a report on that every once in a while. We have eight units complete. Two are under uh, construction and two are in scope and bidding. So um, I think there's always an opportunity that people that need help, um, there are grants and availabilities out there. So I just want to report on that. That information is at the Housing Authority. Mm -hmm. You can, uh, it is income eligible, but um, if you are income eligible, it's certainly, certainly worth looking into. Mm -hmm. um, we have been participating on a regular basis for years, and um, so there is money out there, and it is rolling money. Okay, that should do it. Anything else? Everybody have a good week and weekend. And okay. Motion to adjourn? I'll make that motion. I'll have a second. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you.